Hey everybody, it's EJ from iDesign.com and today we have a very special guest, Teresa, who's going to be sharing with us how to get your Cinema 4D characters, animated characters, export them out of Cinema 4D into Marvelous Designer to add really amazing cloth simulation, really cool clothes, add them to your character, save it out and bring it back into Cinema 4D where you can add them to your character and render it out. So let's go ahead and check it out. Hi, this is Teresa, and I'm going to show you how to bring your animated character from Cinema 4D into Marvelous Designer to give your character clothes. So this is just a breakdown of my character, which is used, uh, which I used with the bendy limbs rig. So you can see I'm just unfolding all the different elements, and it's all still separate um, parts that you can still edit um, or change. Um, so at this stage, we, we will be turning it into a single object, but, um, just showing you how you get there from this setup, um, which I animated using keyframes, um, into a walk cycle. So you can check out the finished animation on my Instagram. So it's really important, first of all, to have a T pose at the very beginning of the animation, this one. So make sure you set a keyframe after you've set up the rig, which, which you'll do in a T or A pose anyway. Um, make sure you set a keyframe and then start animating the walk cycle. I think I started between frames eight and 12 and give yourself a few frames for him to move slowly from the T pose into the animation. Otherwise it'll be hard with the clothes later on. So to bring it in, we need to make an alembic. So you can do that in a few different ways. Um, a guy called Grandma Tony told me you can put it in a connect object. So um, yeah, grab a connect object, just bring the whole mesh under there, right click and bake as alembic. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, so I guess that's an easy solution. What I did was I used a plugin called Nitro Bake. Um, so yeah. Taking this whole mesh group, just clicking on it, click on Nitro Bake, make sure you do single object, and then, yeah, all the other settings are fine, and then just Nitro Bake it. So that's going to turn it into a single object, which is, that you can see there. Um, and you can compare it to the original animation, and yeah, it's the same. It's just in a single object, which you can move around however you want, but it's best to keep it at the original position um, until you've got all the clothes and everything. And, and then of course you can start uh, moving it around even more. So let's rename this to Lloyd Walk. And bring him back to a normal position and then you can bake from Alembic in cinema, but I just like to do it from file export Alembic because you just get a bit of a better overview of where to save it, what you're going to call it. So save it somewhere you'll remember. Um, yeah, and, and you make, make sure you have all the right keyframes that you need. All that should be fine. And then you bake it. So in Marvelous Designer, bring in the Alembic, which you just baked. There it is, the ABC file. And you're going to be using this. Just make sure the settings are the same. And you're going to use this as your sort of clothes horse to make your clothes. Um, so check that all the frames are there in the animation window. Yep, and then go back into simulation, which is where you're going to be simulating, sewing the clothes, uh, putting them on. Now, this is a rookie error. Make sure it's on the T-pose <laughs> because otherwise it's going to be really hard to dress. So just bring it back to the start of the animation. And while you're simulating the clothes, the animation doesn't move. So it's fine just to keep it in this pose. You need to look through many different, two, more tutorials if you actually want to learn how to make clothes well. 
I'm just going to demonstrate something um, really simple. It's not going to look very good. For the actual clothes that I made, it obviously took a lot longer. Um, I had a t-shirt and pants, which were different materials because you can change the fabrics and uh, like the thickness and, and the elasticity. Um, I even made his beanie um, in Marvelous Designer. The one that you see here um, is just modeled in cinema. Um, yeah, but, but, uh, so, so I would definitely recommend, and there are loads and loads of tutorials, uh, for Marvelous Designer. So it's definitely worth checking out if you actually want to make good clothes, but I'm just going to make something just to demonstrate. So I will just, uh, speed it up here until, um, we need to start working with the animation again. Okay, so here I'm looking for how to uh, make the polygons of the cloth quadrangles because I think automatically they're triangles, which makes it a lot harder to make it look smooth and nicer in the um, final version it, when you bring it back to cinema. So right hand click and quadrangulate. <laughs> um, and before you animate it, um, you'll want to make the particle distance a bit less. I think I had it at 15, but to make it like really realistic, then you're going to want to go down to something like five or eight or something like that. <clears throat> so just some final adjustments before we're going to go back to the animation window and um, let the clothes drape over the animating character. Oh yeah, and you can also here just having a look at the different um, fabric qualities that you can change. Uh, you can the presets are pretty handy. Like you can make stuff look and uh, move like denim would. But again, that's just different tutorials that you should look into if you want to make your clothes more realistic. Um, so let's go back to the animation window and. Yep, the clothes are there. Um, if we hit play, nothing is going to happen. Or actually, I don't really know what's going to happen. But don't hit play. You want to hit the record uh, button. And that will simulate through. You can watch it. You can move around. But it's better to just leave it. It takes a while sometimes. And there you can see the cloth's moving to the Alembic animation. So just scrubbing through, you can see how it's moving. Obviously you can go back, um, change the lengths, the type of fabric, and then you can just animate it again. But if we're happy with this, just click on the garment, export Alembic, um, yeah, name it something again, save it somewhere that you'll find it again. And here you have the settings. Make sure you click thin and weld. Otherwise, you're going to get holes, especially where there are uh, seams. Um, I would not include the avatar shape because we've got him elsewhere. That's all fine. So now we're baking another alembic, which we'll bring back to cinema. So here we are again, where we left Lloyd last time. Uh, open the Alembic. Yep, that should all match as it was. And there it is. There's the club, the the T-shirt, and you can see in this lighting and everything, you can see the the polygons, the quadrangles, which which we will smooth over with uh, subdivision surface. You can use smoothing as well if it's really bad but subdivision surface is perfectly fine looks like the arm is poking through but i think it might just be sometimes it just 
acts a bit weird in the first couple of frames. Sometimes the timing is off by one frame, but usually it's quite simple to figure out what's going on. And this one looks like it just jumped back to normal. So we'll put subdivision surface on and you can see straight away that the clothes look so much smoother. They're a bit crinkled, but that's just because they're really bouncy. Um, yeah, add a, adding a cloth surface as well will give it thickness because at the moment it's just like a plane, but adding, yeah, one centimeter is way too thick. It's like he's wearing a sponge. So make it a bit thinner and sort of like a cotton. Um, and then obviously make materials like a cotton material. I was using Octane for mine. Um, really fun for using, for, for making um, different materials. And yeah, and that's it. Right, so there you go. That's how you can use any type of character rig, including Bendy Limbs rig, to be able to export that character out, maintain that animation, bake that animation out, get it into Marvelous Designer, add that super cool, very fashionable uh, clothes inside of Marvelous Designer, export that back out, bring it back into Cinema 4D, and create something very cool inside of cinema. So if you have any questions about this workflow, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this tutorial, please like it. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. Please give a lot of love over to Teresa and thank her for sharing her knowledge. It's really, really great. And I'm sure she and I would both love to see anything that you create using this marvelous designer workflow. So always be sure to tag me and Teresa, uh, if you'd like, in Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, all those places. And I always love to see Bendy Limbs rig animations and characters, so be sure to tag me with that as well. And use the hashtag Bendy Limbs rig too, so I can search for that on Instagram and be able to show it to the world. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.